Avoiding puckering is one of the most demanding jobs in embroidery. This video will show you which screws to turn to improve your embroidery results. There are eight important factors to check and adjust if necessary. Punching, thread tension, needle size, stitch density, machine speed, thread weight, backing, and hooping. Run a first test with the design and fabric and let the puncher adjust stitch density, the number of filling and underlay stitches, and the stitch direction if necessary. The thread tension is most important to get right. The lower the tension, the better. Embroider a test design and check that the ratio on the reverse side of the embroidery is one-third bobbin and two-third top thread. If the thread tension isn't right, use a tension gauge to first adjust the bobbin thread to 25 gram force or centinewton, then the top thread accordingly to obtain one-third to two-third without distortion. Test until you achieve the right result before proceeding. The finer the yarn, the less the fabric is distorted. We recommend 60 or 75 weight yarns or any thread with a DTEX lower than 200 for delicate or stretchy textiles. Use the smallest needle possible for the thread. 6080 or 659 needles provide good results, especially for finer fabrics. Good stabilization without tension on the fabric is necessary. A fusible backing, adhesive spray, and or additional topping can improve results. Carefully hoop the textile, making sure not to stretch it with the selected backing and or topping. Any one or multiple factors might be responsible for puckering. To get the perfect result, test and adjust until you find what you need. Find this and more videos at www.madera.com slash best practice.